as you said, I think one of the big goals of XAI is to understand the universe. Yes. That's how simple three word uh, mission. <laughs> um, if you look out far into the future, do you think on this level of physics, the very edge of what we understand about physics, do you think it will make discoveries, sort of the sexiest discovery of them as, as we know now, sort of uh, unifying general relativity and quantum mechanics. So coming up with a theory of everything, do you think it could push towards that direction, almost like theoretical physics discoveries? If an AI cannot figure out new physics, um, it's clearly not equal to humans, let alone, nor, nor has surpassed humans, because humans have figured out new physics. They've just, you know, physics is just understanding, you know, deepening one's insight into how reality works. And then, uh, then, then, then there's engineering, which is inventing things that have never existed. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the the range of possibilities for engineering is far greater than for physics, because you know, we, once you figure out the rules of the universe, uh, that that's that's it. You've discovered things that already existed, um, but from that, you can then build technologies with that are really almost limitless in the uh, variety and cap. You know, it's like once you understand the rules of the game properly. And we do, we, you know, with current physics, we do, at least at a local level, understand how physics works very well. Where our ability to predict things is incredibly good. Like quantum mechanics is, the degree to which quantum mechanics can predict outcomes is incredible. Um, that was my, that was my hard, hardest class in college, by the way. <laughs> my, quantum, my, my senior quantum mechanics class was harder than all of my other classes put together. To get an AI system, a large language model to, to um, reliably be as reliable as quantum mechanics and physics is very difficult. Yeah, you have to test any, any conclusions against the ground truth of reality. Reality is the ultimate judge. Like physics is the law, everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> I've seen plenty of people break the, break the laws made by man, but none break the laws made by physics. Yeah, it's a good test actually. If this LLM uh, understands and matches physics, then you can more reliably trust whatever it thinks about the current state of yeah. politics <laughs> in some it, sense. It, and it's, it's also not, not the case currently that uh, even that its internal logic is not consistent. Mm. Um, so it's especially um, with these, with the approach of like just predicting a token, predict token, predict token, it's like a vector sum, you know, you, you're summing up a bunch of vectors, but you, you can get drift. Um, so as those, a little bit of error, a little bit of error adds up, mm -hmm. And by the time you are many tokens down the path, uh, you're, it, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So it has to be somehow self-aware about the drift. <laughs> it has to be self-aware about the drift and then look at the thing as a gestalt, as a whole, mm -hmm. and, and say, it does it have coherence as a whole? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when authors write books, that they, they will write the book and then they'll go and revise it. You know, to take into account, you know, all the, the end and the beginning and the middle and, and uh, rewrite it to achieve coherence so that it doesn't end, end up in a nonsensical place. Mm -hmm. Maybe the process of revising is what yeah. reasoning is. And then that's the process of revising is how you get closer and closer to truth. Maybe you like, uh, I, at least I approach it that way. You just say a bunch of bullshit first and then you get it better. You start a bullshit, yeah. and then you get you create a draft, <laughs> and then and then you and then you iterate on that draft yeah. um, until it has, has coherence, until it's, it's it all adds up basically.